Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Murieto C. Fennell trailer teases Alexis Bellino and John Jansen crashing a party as Ryan Boyage in FBI drama escalates. The Real Housewives of Orange County is having its best season in years, but all good things must come to an end. Bravo has unveiled the official trailer for the season 18 finale, and there's still a wealth of drama to come before the ladies assemble for their reunion. The final episode begins with Jennifer Pedranti and Ryan Voyagin in a good place because they're planning their engagement party. The pair then round up the cast for an engagement party featuring much back and forth between the ladies. One of the most surprising things is that Tamara Judge seems to be invited, which is surprising considering the amount of trash talking she's done about Ryan this season. Maybe Jennifer wants to show her rival what a healthy relationship looks like because of the rumors surrounding Tamara and Eddie Judge's marriage falling apart. The big surprise is that Alexis Bellino makes the invite list and goes against Shannon Beter again. The two have indulged in a feud of epic proportions this season, and things might go nuclear when John Jensen arrives to support Alexis. From the mid-season trailer, we know Shannon threatens to leave the event, but we hope she stays and shows the two that they no longer get under her skin. As expected, Tamara continues to make rude comments about Shannon at the party. But they aren't the only cast members coming to blows during what is supposed to be a beautiful celebration of love. Heather Dubro calls out Katie Janella over allegations that her teenage daughter called her mean to Emily Simpson's young sons. Heather and Katie haven't been in a good place at all this season because Katie brought up an allegation that Fancy Pants staged paparazzi pictures at Disneyland. As we've come to expect from Heather, she will never allow the ladies to criticize her on camera, so it's not a shocker that she isn't ready to move forward with Katie. There's no telling where the final will leave their argument, but we're sure they'll have much to say to each other during the upcoming reunion. In perhaps some of the most dramatic scenes of the season, headlines spread that claim that Ryan is involved in a case being investigated by the FBI, which puts Jennifer into a tailspin. We already know that cameras picked back up to film the aftermath of the news, and Jennifer is seen breaking down as she seemingly believes their life together is over. Of course, we already know that isn't the case because they've been all over each other's Instagram accounts. There's a chance that producers are baiting viewers and that the actual developments will go in a different direction. Either way, we'll be seated for this episode because it will be tense. In a final that's set to rock Orange County to its core, Bravo's trailer for The Real Housewives of Orange County hints at dramatic scenes, plot twists, and plenty of jaw-dropping moments, as Alexis Bellino and John Jansen return to stir the pot, right when tensions are already at their peak, thanks to the scandal surrounding Ryan Boyajian. The trailer opens on a glamorous rooftop party, filled with chic lighting, opulent decor, and the sounds of upscale Orange County society enjoying the night. But beneath the glitz and glamour lies an electric tension, as the women's faces seem almost too polished, their smiles strained. Shannon Beter is at the center of it all, clearly on edge, as she whispers to Gina Kirschenheider about an unexpected guest. I just have a feeling tonight's going to get messy, she says, her eyes darting nervously around the crowd. Cue Alexis Bellino, who strides into the scene like she owns it. Known for her past dramatic exits and fallouts, Alexis hasn't been seen in the OC since her departure, but she returns as a wild card to crash the season finale in an outfit that's a perfect blend of glitz and edge. The camera zooms in as she adjusts a glimmering cuff on her wrist and scans the room, her eyes settling on a group of surprised faces. Tamara Judge raises an eyebrow, her expression flickering between curiosity and exasperation. Oh, now it's a party, she mutters under her breath, taking a dramatic sip of champagne. 
Meanwhile, John Jansen, Shannon's ex, stands at the entryway, hands in his pockets, and wearing an expression that can only be described as broodingly defiant. His relationship with Shannon may have ended, but he hasn't quite let go of the OC social scene. With an enigmatic smile, he locks eyes with Shannon from across the room. Shannon stiffens, caught between a desperate need to appear unfazed and the urge to confront him. The whispers intensify as Ryan Boyajian steps onto the rooftop, his face taut with the weight of the night's unfolding drama. Recent revelations about his possible involvement with the FBI have sent shockwaves through the group. Word has spread fast in the Orange County social scene, and all eyes are on him as he makes his way through the crowd. Emily Simpson can't hold back her frustration, muttering to Gina. He thinks he can just waltz in here with that kind of baggage. This is not the place for him to be. Gina smirks. Well, it's going to make tonight a lot more interesting, that's for sure. Just when the tension couldn't seem to get any thicker, Alexis makes her way over to Ryan, giving him a cool, appraising look. In a confessional, Alexis says, You know, people might think I'm here just to stir things up. And they're absolutely right. I'm here for the truth, and it's about time this group got a dose of reality. She confronts Ryan with a straightforward, Are you going to address the rumors, or are we all just supposed to pretend you're not under investigation? Ryan's jaw tightens, clearly caught off guard by her directness. Across the room, Heather Debrow is observing the situation with quiet intensity, her hand clasped around a flute of champagne, her gaze sharp. In a cute way, Heather says, I've been in this group long enough to know when a storm is brewing, and this one is going to be at Category 5. She watches as Tamara makes her way towards Alexis, ready to back her up, or cut her down. The two women exchange a glance and Tamara, never one to back down, says to Alexis, If you're here to dig up dirt, you're going to have to get in line. Ryan, visibly rattled by the attention and the growing scrutiny, takes a deep breath and begins to defend himself. Listen, I can't control what's being said about me. People love to talk. The FBI isn't. Well, it's just rumors. Nothing's been proven. But his words don't seem to have the calming effect he's hoping for. Emily and Gina exchange knowing looks, and Gina doesn't hesitate to call him out. Rumors don't just pop out of thin air. She snaps. You can either come clean, or we're all going to assume the worst. At this moment, Shannon decides she's had enough. The crowd parts as she marches up to John, finally letting her anger surface. I don't know why you're here, but you don't get to show up and act like nothing happened. She says, her voice shaking with frustration. John, unfazed, simply shrugs. I'm here to support a friend. It's not always about you, Shannon. As Shannon fumes, Alexis and Tamara's conversation heats up, the two of them rehashing old grievances that everyone thought were long buried. You always had a way of showing up at the worst times, Alexis, Tamara snaps, her voice dripping with contempt. Alexis coolly replies, maybe because you create the worst times. Their bickering escalates until Heather steps in, raising her voice just enough to command attention, reminding them, we're here to celebrate, not destroy each other. But if that's what this is turning into, I'm not staying to watch. The evening descends into a chaotic blend of accusations, alliances, and shattered friendships. Ryan is left standing alone as the women close ranks, uncertain of his innocence, but united in their desire for answers. Alexis stands tall, her presence serving as a reminder that no secret stays buried forever, and that loyalty in Orange County is as rare as a sunset without a storm cloud. The trailer ends with a chilling voiceover. In the OC, everything comes full circle. The truth may come too late, but it always comes. As the screen fades to black, 
Viewers are left with the image of Shannon, Tamara, and Gina exchanging wary glances, each wondering what fresh fallout will come in the wake of tonight's revelations. Bravo has set the stage for a final that promises unforgettable confrontations, old grudges reignited, and one final twist that may just send shockwaves far beyond Orange County.